Hey everyone, it's Anna. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all enjoying the weekend. I thought I'd hop on and share some beautiful cards I've got in the mail today and a couple of things uh, that came with them. So let's take a look at these. This is a beautiful card for my friend Gabby. Gabby with an I. Look at the gold on there. She used a really nice heavyweight gold um, cardstock to create that base layer, which gives it a beautiful, nice gold frame. I love that. And the image she stamped here is gorgeous. It's a um, butterfly or um, feather that she stamped in like a um, ombre ink pad, I think. Look how beautiful that is. And then she's added some gold detail on top as well. Gorgeous. You be the bird, I'll be the feather, we'll be the best of friends forever. <laughs> That's gorgeous, Gabby. She's left me a really beautiful note inside. And then here's the back where she stamped her handmade by stamp in gold embossed. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. And then she stamped a cute little birdie on there as well. So I love this card, Gabby. It really speaks to my heart. So thank you so much. And then I also received this gorgeous card from a friend. I'm going to let her remain anonymous. But look at the details of this card. It is stunning. Look at that gorgeous bouquet of roses cute little um like daisy flowers all popping out of a watering can isn't that the cutest thing she's done a collage style so she's added a postage stamp here lots of various die cuts she's got a cute little um, craft color doily here on each side and she's even got some faux stitching and then in the background here she's added a beautiful vintage um looking um, like note card or something that has some beautiful flowers on it and some um, die cut detail in the corners just gorgeous and she has some tea dyed paper here in the back too I love it on the inside she's left me a beautiful note and then she also had this tucked in there too I love glitter and I certainly do this is the cutest little shaker pop from doodle doodle bug isn't that cute <laughs> so perfect for me. I, I do love glitter. Oh, and I love this uh, blue seam binding bow too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And on the back side, she's wrapped around that uh, paper doily. And then she's got this beautiful um, green printed paper here. And of course, she's signed her name there. But gorgeous. I love the card. Thank you so much, my dear. And then she also sent me this beautiful wooden stamp. It's a beautiful watering can, and she's got some echinacea here in the uh, watering can as a flower pot. There's like a, por a portion of a postage stamp. There's some seed packets, carrots, and flowers. And then there's beautiful butterflies and all kinds of greenery around, even some trowels. So absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This one is from the Rubber Necker Stamp Company, and that's all the markings that are on it, but brand new gorgeous stamp I absolutely love it so thank you so much my dear and then also in the mail this week I had purchased this uh, watercolor set from Amazon it was about I want to say $20 because I think there was a $5 coupon that I could apply um, and I just checked too and the this is the 36 pan set but the 24 pan set also has a $5 coupon um, that you can apply to so it would make it $15 um, but that's the 24 set. This is the 36 set. Um, I've already opened it and unwrapped it, but I thought I would just do the rest of the unboxing with you. So it came with this um, set of watercolor postcards. Um, it looks to be on just some heavyweight cardstock that has a little bit of a texture like watercolor paper, but um, it doesn't seem like anything that's a very expensive watercolor paper. So that'll be fun to use. And then let's take the tin out. Uh, it came in a flocked um, base here. And a cardboard box that has a magnetic um, closure on the side. So that's a pretty nice little box for storage. And then um, here's the tin itself. I chose pink. Um, they have yellow and blue available as well. And it has uh, the company's um, name up here in the corner. And then the bottom, oops, the bottom is uh, just flat. So, and I've heard that these are the same as the Pretty Excellent watercolors, which is this set. And I really like this set. This is one of the ones I took down to California with me in case people needed watercolors to use during my class. Um, this is one of the sets that I took. I really love using this particular set of colors. Um, the colors are all really vibrant and um, work really nicely. So um, I thought if um, this pink set here was the same as this, that would be nice. I really enjoy using this. Um, I've used it a bunch and I've hardly made a dent in the palette itself. So, um, 
Anyway, let's take a look here. The tin itself is kind of flimsy and it doesn't want to stay shut. Um, so it wouldn't be very good for packing um, in a backpack or anything like that. You'd have to put a rubber band or something on it for closure. But let's see, it also came with um, this little insert here that shows some of the color options that they have available. This looks like the 36 pan set and this looks like the 24 pan set. And then just the typical uh, photos. I think this company um, is either has their paint either made by Paul Rubens or Paul Rubens um, uh, gets their paint from them. I'm not sure. Because it's the same photographs in the Paul Rubens flyers as, as are here. <laughs> so, um, but it came with a swatch card. So I'll be filling that out. And it also came with a water brush, just typical inexpensive water brush. Um, and then it came with the insert here. So let's take this out. Looks like it's wrapped in plastic. Nice mixing area there if you want to have lots of workspace. It's quite a large tin though. It is about five and a half by ten. So it's a really large um, tin here. And if you compare it to the pretty excellent tin, you can see there's quite a bit of difference there. So, and this is um, a heavier duty tin and it stays closed really nicely. <clears throat> so, that's the tin. I'll set it off to the side here while we're working on the palette. So it looks like it came in shrink wrap, so I'll get a scissor here. Like some of them are getting ready to escape. So this is kind of sharp here. This edge here is not rolled, so it's kind of a sharp edge. So be wary of that. And it looks like this row is set in crooked. How funny is that? See how these two are straight and this one is set in at an angle? <laughs> That's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> Oh, let's see. See, it's even like riveted in um, the, through the bottom. Well, it looks like it's straight, but I might be able to fix that. I don't know. I might be able to fix that, but I'm not sure. I think I would want to put some gloves on because this is pretty a pretty sharp edge here. Looks like this little paint pan flipped out when I turned it upside down. Um, they call these half pans, so they are square though instead of rectangle, but I'm guessing that the amount of paint in them is probably pretty comparable to a half pan set. And I think um, I think Lindsay maybe did a video on this set as well, so she probably compared the sizes of the pans. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and swatch these out and see how they compare to um, the swatch that I have for my pretty excellent watercolors. and. Uh, go from there. I'll go ahead and speed up this portion of the video. Um, if you'd like to watch, great. I invite you to. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I think I'm going to be coming on later um, to share a card that I'm going to be making uh, with this rubber stamp from High Hopes. It's called Annie's Bushel. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned for that video to come up later um, today, probably. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the rest of the video.
So I've gone ahead and filled in the swatch card here. Um, it's still really wet as you can see, so I don't want to move it around too much. But here is the swatch card that I made for my Pretty Excellent paint set, um, which is also a set of 36. So the, my, the major difference between these two sets um, is, there's all over here. Um, these paints are actually in um, a plastic molded uh, tray that you, when you take them out of the pan, they come out all at once. Um, whereas these pans here are individually uh, poured. So that's the major difference between um, the sets. Also the size of the tin, of course, these paints are a lot closer together um, than these sets or these uh, tins here. So um, that's the major difference, but let's take a look at the colors. So this is the uh, pretty excellent set. Again, like that, I said that 24 set, or excuse me, 36 set. And I think you can see that the colors are pretty exact. It looks like there's a difference in the white. Um, I didn't put a black line here, but this one looks more white than this one. This one has like a cream tint to it. Um, but other than that, the colors look exactly the same. So you can see even this beautiful uh, permanent red, uh, rose down here at the end. Really gorgeous. And this alizarin crimson is gorgeous as well. Crimson Lake, beautiful Scarlet Lake, all really close. Uh, this line is going to be a little more difficult to see because it's in the middle here. Um, but again, I think the colors match pretty exact. Yep, this uh, Payne's Gray here, it's a beautiful color. Not really what I would consider a Payne's Gray, but it's a beautiful color. And again, they ended this line with the yellow green. And then down here, uh, we have similarly, uh, all the colors seem to line up and match. So... I'm excited about that because I really do love this uh, pretty excellent um, paint and um, it's really fun to use and like I said I've used it a bunch um, and hardly made a dent um, but I was excited to see that um, these potentially were going to be the same because I'd love to have more of the paint pigments themselves it was a really inexpensive price and um, I love that these are in individual pans so I can move them in and out of tins or take them out as I use them so I really love that this is really going to bug me I did try to fix it um, I think as you saw on the bottom the rivet um, dimples <laughs> um, were straight to the others but what's wrong is this little tray um, the portion of the rivet that's pushing down into this tray here they are offset and so they're not exactly centered and that's what's making this sit here crooked so that is unfortunate because um, I can't actually fix that unfortunately it's just gonna have to be crooked <laughs> So anyways, I just thought I would share this with you. This is an inex inexpensive paint set. Um, I think the paints in it are really excellent. I wouldn't consider them to be artist quality. They don't necessarily give you any life fast information, you know, but if you're looking to do stuff in sketchbooks or like me, I'm just painting images for cards. I'm not really looking for these to last a hundred years. So I think these are really fun, great clear colors and um, a fun addition to my collection of watercolors. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been enjoyable and take care. Bye.